Brittany, I just want three things that you're looking forward to ahead of this year's championships. Cutting down from three to one, number three, go. Oh gosh, only three things? I have to narrow it down to three things? Okay, number three would be the fashion. The fashion at the Breeders' Cup, it differs with every site that the Breeders' Cup is at. So in Lexington, Kentucky, I think you're going to see some really beautiful fall colors, a lot of felt, but the weather is going to be wonderful, so I'm really intrigued to see how the women and men, got to say both because they, they are very dapper as well, um, dress up with the weather being what it is, but also in Lexington, Kentucky. That would be number three. I'm going to be thinking hard about the tie and shirt combo on uh, on Saturday now for myself, Ooh, I think. Bow tie? Mm, probably not, probably not, but we'll, we'll see how I we I think get. you could rock it. What about a fedora? <laughs> got to yeah. wear a hat. I, yeah, I, I do look good in a fedora, mm -hmm. absolutely. Number two. Number two for me would be the matchup in the Breeders' Cup Distaff between Nest and Malathat. Cannot wait to see that. The Distaff is always one of my favorite races. I'm probably biased. Beholder Songbird, we saw them. Obviously, uh, Zenyatta and then going in the Classic. So for me, it would be the matchup between those two. I think they're very closely matched and they're in the same stable. So that's what makes it exciting. You know, I'm gonna ask next, which one do you, which one do you prefer out of the two? I prefer Nest, but Malatha is undefeated at Keeneland, so could you give her the edge? We'll see. Hopefully it's noses on the wire in the final stages. And finally, drum roll number one. Everybody saying this? Flightline? One of the most exciting horses we've seen in decades. Uh, Jaw-dropping performance, took my breath away, what he did in the TVG Pacific Classic. It's been remarkable how accessible the owners and trainer have made him because we all know that horses like this don't come around that often. So fingers crossed we get to see him another year. If not, I think he's going to blow the doors off of this place and we will witness something really special.